welcome to our review of Ex Machina. This movie, it's kind of started out as a limited release, but word of mouth got around. So now it's a wide release. So Ex Machina is directed by Alex Garland and it stars Dom Han Gleason, Oscar Isaac, and Alicia Vikander. The movie starts out, you know, it's a guy, he's kind of sitting there real pensive at his computer. You know, he wins some kind of contest and he goes to this huge estate for the owner of the company that he works for. He doesn't really know what he's going to be doing. He doesn't know he's going to be working on a secret project and he finds out that the project pertains artificial intelligence, AI, and then shit goes down. The first thing we have to address here is that all the performances were amazing, especially Oscar Isaac. <laughs> all of his lines in the movie were like a combination of creepy and funny, yeah. but at the same time, genius. You never knew where he was coming from. Like sometimes he would say something really fucked up and you're like, is he, is he, like, joking? Is he joking or not? He's definitely one of the most entertaining parts of the movie and my favorite performance of the movie also. But the other two performances of the movie are incredible too. I mean, you have Dom Hall Gleason, Alicia Vikander who plays the AI on this movie. I mean, she's just amazing. She gives a real subdued, she, she really seems like, you know, an innocent, child at the beginning. So I almost kind of almost wrote off Donald Gleason at the beginning. I thought he was kind of talking to her like kind of weird, but then he kind of came up to her like she was a child. But then as the movie progresses, you know, both of their characters, you know, they, they go very in very different directions. Both actors did a really good job. Yeah, besides the acting, I mean, you have the script. It's probably the best thing of the movie. Like there was no, there was no dialogue in this movie where you're like, you know, that writer is just trying to seem like he's, you know, a really good writer. You know, everything that was said by all the characters was yeah. for, to, to develop their characters. And even, even for a movie like this, because this, this is a hardcore sci-fi movie, and for a movie like that to have this kind of dialogue where the dialogue feels real, even if if you're dealing with a subject matter that's pretty sci-fi yeah. as of right now, the things they said, how they refer to these events made everything feel so real. You, you can see the script shine, especially when Eva and uh, Dom Hall Gleason, they're, they're having their conversations together. Also for an AI movie, because there's been a lot of AI movies, you know, oh, yeah. it feels original, which is yeah. a big accomplishment because, I mean, everything feels fresh. It, it, it doesn't feel as if you have seen it before, which is probably one of the most impressive things of the movie. The whole time of this movie, you're just wondering like, what's going to happen next. Like, what are the motivations behind, you know, Oscar Isaac? Why is he here? Even the AI, you know, like, why why is she behaving the way she's behaving? But the cinematography in this movie is great. Like, all the, all the shots were very well done. I, I looked over to him and I was like, this movie's going to look really good on Blu-ray, you know? Yeah, he has a very was... nice color palette. I mean, it's very yeah. pleasing to the eyes. That's what we're trying to say. And then at certain times, you know, it'll just get you intense everything will switch to red the, the use of color in this movie was very well done yeah also let's mention the cgi because like we said this isn't an action movie or anything there isn't like a lot of cgi yeah. but when there is especially with eva the character eva yeah I mean, the CGI was really subtle, but because it was subtle, it looked real. This movie has the be one of the best dance scenes I've ever seen in a movie. Hell yeah, man. Fuck yeah. Oscar when, Isaac If you see dancing? the movie, you're gonna see what, what the... we're talking about. I don't really have any, any cons with this movie, and I would recommend it to anyone who loves sci-fi. If you love movies, you're probably gonna love this movie. The only people I see not like this movie is more of like casual movie goers. Yeah, yeah. Because like... it's, it's, I mean, it's, it's, it's not a movie that's gonna give you all the answers of what's happening or what's gonna happen it's yeah. a movie that's gonna leave you thinking if you're a movie lover you know go watch the movie give it a chance it's a very good movie we don't have anything bad to say about it this is the first time we're gonna do this on this uh, channel so we're gonna give this movie a five out of five five out of five because really there's nothing to complain about here yeah. it's um, as soon as it comes out on blu-ray I'm gonna buy it and it's probably uh, one of the best movies I've seen this year if not the best one so that's it guys, that was our review that's for it. Ex Machina. If, if you didn't know, we did a little trailer review talking about Star Wars The Force Awakens. If you want to see that, you can click the annotation below. Make sure to like our videos, subscribe on YouTube, and we'll see you next time.